Hey everyone, Tom Walker here from Northeast Outdoor Adventures and today we're going to be going over the Beaver Screen Tent. Let's dig into this. So in the search for the perfect screen tent, we had a basic criteria that we wanted met. The first was gonna be price, the second was gonna be the quality, and the third was gonna be the ease in the teardown setup. And this not only met our expectations, it definitely exceeded them. So let's walk through this, and I'm sure you'll understand what I'm talking about when we get done. All right, let's do this. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We could use the help. All right, so let's start back at the very beginning. So this is the Viver eight man 12 by 12 screen tent. And this thing is just flat out awesome. Uh, I'll give you some of the specs. So the material that it's made of is 300 denier Oxford fabric and it has a B3 gauze netting. So it's real fine netting. So none of the bugs are gonna actually be able to get in there. Uh, this thing stands at a max height of 90 inches, uh, 11 and a half on the inside they say it's 12 but it's really 11 and a half all the way around the interior and then we have the weight this total weight for this is 35 pounds and keep in mind the length uh, when you do uh, pack it up and throw it in your vehicle that does take up a little bit of length um, the bag itself is excellent very well made the zipper is a super huge super thick heavy duty zipper so this is a, just going to break down uh, anytime soon and what do we have when we get in here so when we get into this we actually have six of these wind panels and we also have two poles that'll be doing the front structure to the doorway and then it comes with another bag full of goodies here so what we got we got tent stakes and we also got the guidelines the guidelines will help you keep this uh, from blowing off into space this is a very well made screen tent and it is a game changer with the wind panels on it because again it, it opens up to a third season you can literally use it in the spring summer and fall um, and we'll all walk you through some of that as well okay let's set this up okay so the setup is straightforward so what we're going to do is we're going to go and pull the hubs out on the sides first and then we're going to stake it down and then we're going to push up the middle hub let's do this So now you're going to take these two poles and these are going to be your stabilization for your front. All you're doing is you're taking the end, stick it in this small sleeve down here, take and bend it a little bit and put it in there like that. And what that's going to do is it's going to provide the structure. And then you got to tie it off here. And the same on this side. What you do, shove it in that little sleeve, bend it a little bit, put it in the other sleeve. Boom, done. Super, super simple. So let's go over the exterior of this. We're going to start with the front and we're going to cover the zipper first. The zipper is super heavy duty. It's not like the cheap ones that after you use it a few hundred times, it'll fail. This is really thick and well made. So these are the guidelines and there are five of them that anchor the tent down so that in high winds, it's not gonna fold in. As you can see, they've got steel eye hooks here, and there's a nut on the other side to keep it firmly in place, and these things are tough. We had it out in a storm the other night, and it held up perfectly. Okay, so the front door Velcro's on like this. Okay, so what we do is we start in the far corner, go up here, tack it in, and you're gonna to wanna to open up these. Then I go over here, and then I tack that to that Velcro corner. And then I go across these. 
And then I'll take the flap, which is also has Velcro on it, and that will go down to cover it, just like that. It's that quick and that simple. This one also comes with a zipper, so you can roll it up, like so. And that'll keep it open. You're gonna have either one or both sides open. Just like that. And that's our front panel. All right, and for this panel, we do the same thing. And boom, you get yourself a wall screen. And this is also made so that it'll fit over your guideline holes, right, just like that. All right, and then you come over to this side and you just follow the Velcro patches down. And we have had this in high winds. There were some uh, comments left um, on this tent that's saying that the uh, wind blew off some of the panels. Uh, that did not happen with us. We had high winds and these panels stayed on, no issues whatsoever. And two of these panels come with screened windows. So again, we do the same thing, go up into the corners. So now you got cross ventilation going on inside your tent. So another really cool thing that I've noticed about these windscreens is this. So for example, if you are sitting here and we're getting a cold breeze and we don't want that, all we have to do is go outside and throw up a panel like this and then leave the rest of this open and it works beautiful. So if you've got like a bunch of sunshine coming in and it's getting too hot and barreling down on you in the afternoon like it does over here, we'll just take it, we'll move these windscreens over. It takes less than a... 30 seconds to throw up one of them panels. So that's another cool feature that I really liked about this. You can also put them halfway down and just have half a breeze coming through here, half the panel and block off the other half. There's so many different ways you can set this up. And I've learned that even if you want to have, for example, a fire going and you need that more of the ventilation or it gets too hot, you can just bring these down a little bit in the corner open it up and allow some airflow to go through. Uh, we've been using this for the last three weeks and it has been absolutely amazing. The versatility that we have with these wind panels. So when tearing this down, again, super, super simple. Make sure you remove all your stakes that it's staked down and then make sure that you pull out the two poles in the front here. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna go around and you're gonna push the hubs in. Okay, so let's talk price. That was part of our criteria. And this one ranges anywhere from $200 to $300. Uh, we picked it up, my wife is real savvy on trying to find good deals. We picked it up for 180 bucks. Uh, and its competitors don't can't even come close to meeting that criteria. Not only that, they don't have the windscreens that come with this. They just have the screen tent. Okay, so let's talk quality now. This thing is very well made. Let's walk through some of this stuff. Quality of the uh, corners where the the poles go into their sleeves. The sleeves are very thick material and they're reinforced with this rubber piece behind it. Um, very well made, very sturdy. And the fact that they taped the seams on the roof was very impressive to me because you usually don't see that in screen tents. All of this stuff is double stitched. And a lot of times when we have uh, purchased screen tents, you can see the, the quality is not nearly as good and they got string hanging off all over the place. And these, this is very well made. So a year from now, I am going to give you a full review on how this thing works in all three seasons. Anybody who knows me knows I'm gonna actually probably push for a fourth season. I'll probably have it out in the snow. But next year at this time, I will give a full review and let you guys know how it all panned out. All right, thanks for watching. Take care.